think about using uh, nanostructures for hair dyes, uh, exfoliants, and, and other types of applications. But critics warn that not nearly enough is known about how these altered materials might affect the human body and the environment. The Consumers Council of Canada says there simply isn't enough research happening to know what risks, if any, are posed by nanotechnology. They suggest consumers at least stay away from nano products for children, such as antibacterial baby bottles and stain-resistant plush toys. But given the quantity of nano-enhanced products, some 800 are currently on the market and billions of dollars are being spent on developing others, it's only a matter of time before nanotech will be an inescapable part of everyday life. You can visualize the disease. Even though nanomedicine holds an incredible amount of promise for the future, there are some concerns about toxicity. We don't know what happens to these things once they get into the body. There's possibilities they can make their way into the brain, also into the filtering organs like the liver and the kidneys. And in fact, they could sort of collect there and maybe form tumors. We don't know. So when it comes to the future of medicine, the big ideas are going to be very small.